The County of San Bernardino Department of Public Health Division of Environmental Health Services is the agency designated by the State of California to enforce laws and regulations regarding food protection, including soft serve products. We conduct routine inspections on soft serve machines as well as collect samples for bacteriological analysis to ensure samples are compliant with the State of California standard. The purpose of this video is to show you the proper way to disassemble, clean, sanitize, and reassemble a soft serve machine. Before attempting to perform any servicing, including cleaning and sanitizing procedures, it is necessary to become familiar with the operator's manual. You must accurately follow all instructions and safety precautions as each type of machine has its own specific cleaning procedures and safety features. Refer to the operator's manual for the type of machine you have and contact the manufacturer if you are uncertain on how to properly clean and sanitize your machine. The soft serve machine will need to be disassembled, cleaned, sanitized, and reassembled on a daily basis to ensure the soft serve product meets the bacteriological standards established by the State of California. The disassembly or breakdown process is usually performed at the end of the operating day so trained staff will have sufficient time to correctly complete this process. When beginning the breakdown process, thoroughly wash and sanitize your hands and forearms as they will come in contact with many of the machine's internal parts. Environmental Health will periodically check for bacteria levels in the soft serve product from your machine and many of these bacteria are commonly found on unwashed hands. If excessive bacteria are found in the product, it may cause the sample to fail the testing process. You will need to assemble the cleaning brushes provided from the manufacturer of your machine and a container to collect any product remaining in the machine. Always make sure the cleaning brushes have been properly stored to protect them from contamination. Begin the disassembly or breakdown of the machine by removing the lid and lid gasket then draining out the remaining soft serve product into a clean bucket. Always follow the manufacturer's instructions on the required machine setting during each phase of the breakdown, cleaning sanitizing step, and reassembly procedures. When the top hopper is fully drained, open each draw valve to make sure no product remains in the machine. The collected soft serve product will need to be discarded since California state law prohibits the reuse of the soft serve product after the machine has been drained. After the machine has been fully drained of product and each draw valve has been purged, pour in two gallons of cool water into the mix hopper and brush the hopper sides, inlet hole, and level indicator to remove any remaining product. It is important to use cool water so that the milk fat in any remaining soft serve product stays in a semi-solid state to flush out easier and not to stick to the machine parts. You will need to repeat this process until the discharge water is clear. After the machine has been thoroughly flushed with cool water, prepare the correct volume of approved sanitizing solution. The sanitizing product typically comes in a packet and contains both the cleansing and sanitizing agent. Thoroughly dissolve the cleaning sanitizing powder in a clean bucket using warm water and stir until the powder is completely dissolved. Since the cleaning sanitizing product used for most machines has both the cleansing and sanitizing agent together, this should only be a one-step process. Pour the cleaning sanitizing solution into each hopper, allowing it to flow into each freezer cylinder. Brush clean the hopper, the inlet hole, and the level sensing device. At this time, the machine manufacturer may require activation of the beater bar to agitate the solution in each cylinder. Using the correct machine setting, draw out all of the sanitizing solution, making sure to open each draw valve and prime plugs so no sanitizing solution remains in the machine. As part of the washing process, rinse the machine after the cleaning sanitizing solution has been thoroughly drained out. Before disassembling the machine, familiarize yourself with the proper safety setting as most manufacturers require the machine is on the off position at this time to prevent any injury or damage to the machine. Disassemble the removable parts such as the freezer door, beater assembly, drive shaft, drip pans, and draw tubes and take these to a three compartment sink for cleansing and sanitizing. Make sure the three compartment sink is in a clean and sanitized condition to eliminate the possibility of contamination from other previous uses. Prepare the same cleaning sanitizing solution as was previously used in the soft serve machine in a two compartment or three compartment sink according to manufacturer recommendations. This video demonstrates the proper way to batch wash the soft serve machine parts in a two compartment sink. 
you will need to fill two of the sinks with a combined cleaning and sanitizing agent. The solution in each sink must be deep enough to completely submerge all machine parts being washed and sanitized. Since this product has both the cleansing and sanitizing agents together, the same solution is used for both the cleaning and sanitizing steps. The first sink with this solution will be for the washing step, and the second sink with the same solution will be for the sanitizing step. You can also clean and sanitize the components of the soft serve machine using the conventional cleaning and sanitizing steps you use for other utensils in your food facility. This requires a three compartment sink where the first basin contains a soap solution at 100 degrees Fahrenheit for washing. The second sink has clear water for rinsing and the third sink has the approved sanitizing solution. Disassemble all internal parts by removing any o-rings, gaskets, scraper blades, and seals and completely submerge all of these parts in the first sink containing the combined cleaning sanitizing solution. Use approved tools as needed to remove the o-rings as these can be damaged by sharp objects. It is critical to remove these as they are areas that can trap soft serve product and harbor bacteria. In the first sink, thoroughly brush all disassembled parts to remove all soft serve product and lubricant. After each part has been thoroughly cleansed, place it in the second sink to soak in the cleanser sanitizer solution. After all parts have been thoroughly cleaned and soaked, they will need to be placed on a clean, dry surface and let to air dry. This air dry process is typically done overnight in preparation for the next day's reassembly process. Examine all parts for any signs of wear or damage and replace as needed. With some cleaning sanitizing solution and using the correct brush, clean out the back of the freezer chamber where the beater assembly engages. Wipe clean all exterior surfaces of the machine. You are now ready to begin the assembly process for your soft serve machine. This is typically done the following morning and as close to the time of service to the public as possible to keep the bacterial contamination to a minimum. As with the breakdown process, always follow the manufacturer's safety and assembly instructions accurately. Begin by thoroughly washing and sanitizing your hands. You will need to wash and sanitize both your hands and forearms as they will come in contact with the interior surfaces of the machine. Since there are differences in machine designs between manufacturers and even with machines from the same manufacturer, you will need to become familiar with your individual machine's assembly requirements. You can find these instructions in the manufacturer's operating manual, which are commonly available online. Per your manufacturer's instructions, including which parts require lubrication, properly reassemble all of the removable parts of the machine, including any seals, gaskets, o-rings, beater bar, machine door, drip trays, etc. Always use an appropriate food grade lubricant. Prepare the correct volume of approved sanitizing solution as before to sanitize the machine after reassembly. Pour the cleaning sanitizing solution into each hopper, allowing it to flow into each freezer cylinder. Using the correct machine settings, draw out all of the sanitizing solution, making sure to open each draw valve and prime plugs so no sanitizing solution remains in the machine. Do not rinse the machine after the cleansing sanitizing solution has been thoroughly drained out. In the required amount of fresh mix, usually about two gallons, into the top hopper. Many manufacturers require that the draw tubes and prime plugs be in the open position at this time to allow the product to flow out and push out any remaining sanitizing solution. Continue until a steady stream of product flows out of the draw spout and prime plug. Reassemble any air tubes, the lid gasket, and the lid and activate the machine per operator's instructions to make sure the refrigeration systems are operating. Allow sufficient time for the product to properly freeze before serving. Here are some items that will help you keep your soft serve machine operating properly and to keep the microbial levels of your soft serve product to a minimum. Properly clean and sanitize your machine daily. Keep your brushes clean and undamaged and properly stored between uses. Rinse out the soft serve product using only cool water. Use the correct concentration of sanitizer. Do not rinse the machine after the sanitizing step. Rotate products to ensure that the products with the oldest code dates are used first. Maintain the mix at a constant temperature below 41 degrees Fahrenheit or lower. Do not reuse the mix after the cleaning sanitizing process has been completed.